So considering that seller have sold 401 item and their average profit is around five pound, they have made 2005 pound profit from this single particular product and you can find this for free in this video i want to talk about how to start selling on ebay if you are on a budget the main focus right here is going to be the product research so together on the screen we're going to figure out what product we can sell without using any kind of paid tools because we want to try to do something which will be affordable and also realistic at the same time so let's get started my name is zencha on this channel i have done over 270 videos which can really help you become a full-time seller my objective in those videos is to try to give you the realistic and information which can be actually implemented and applied at the same time so if you're somebody who is looking to become a full-time ebay amazon or shopify seller like me consider subscribing to this channel it will be massive help if you hit the like button at the same time let's get started so the first thing to do is to be a little bit creative about it to work your way around it is to go on a Google and type Amazon bestsellers. Depending on whatever the country you are in, you can actually type that at the end as well. I am in the UK, so I'm going to type Amazon bestsellers in the UK because that's the market I'm trying to target as well. The reason we are on Amazon, even though we are doing a product research on eBay, because Amazon give us a list for Amazon bestsellers and they update the these list on an hourly basis depending on the sale of those particular product as well. So why not just use a free data from a Google, from Amazon to figure out if we can take some inspiration and see what product we can sell at the end of the day as well. So on the left hand side right here, they are dividing them into different different categories so let's say if i'm interested in one particular category it doesn't matter in the beginning what your niche is going to be but what i recommend go for something which is not seasonal so i will give you example right here if i go to lighting one right here the first product that you can see right here it's also a generic item that's what you need to make sure and also you need to make sure like you are not competing with any kind of other brand so for example if i go to pc and video games for example in a pc and video game you can see right here the first product is actually a playstation gift card and a lot of products that you're gonna see right here like for example this fifa or roblox and minecraft these are actually the branded items so if you sell them as a brand new one of course you can have a problem like a copyright issues and those sort of stuff as well so you want to stick to something which is actually more generic so if i go to lightning one right here these rgb light the first one they really really stand out for me at the end of the day the price don't matter at this point because i'm gonna be doing the product research manually and i'm gonna tell you the product criteria for that one so the first thing we need to make sure we got the inspiration for the product from amazon which is a led light so now we have something in 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 our mind like what we need to do what i normally go and do next is like i double check the product so what you can do is you can go to the google again and you can type google trend and this is again a free way to really see how the products are doing the first link right here is going to be the google trends so click on a google trends and this one is going to come up right here on the top right here you can actually select the country i'm gonna select united kingdom depending on again what what is your target country for me it is united kingdom and what i am going to type is led lights right here just to see what kind of interest people have once they are looking for the led lights over the period of time so i pulled up the data from past 12 months right here you can see right here the graph is pretty stable again the interest is really really higher near the christmas time and i think this is very very obvious because a lot of shopping is done near the christmas time and people are very very interested in a christmas uh type of item and led lights are one of them people actually use them a lot as well but overall it's not the seasonal product like if the graph is all the way down sometime and then the interest is all the way up you want to stay away from that kind of product you want to have a consistent sale throughout the year so now I went on Amazon, I have a product inspiration, I checked this product is not seasonal. My first criteria is actually done. Now what I need to do is to find some kind of seller who is selling these lights on eBay and see how much they are selling for. So I can quickly go on eBay 
and I can actually type LED lights and this is all manually again I'm not using any kind of software right here and what I normally do is like I select the best match right here because I want to find out this ones are actually selling a lot as compared to the other ones as well so a lot of variation is going to be right here just a little bit of time because the light that we seen on Amazon was looking something you can see like this and the lights right here are like this right here as well so i'm gonna open uh, one of them right here just to see you can see this one is again inside the roll and uh, it have the remote control and it have a usb cable so you need to make sure what comes with the light as well because we want to try to find out it's exactly the same item at the end of the day so we are right here we have these three item inside the picture and then we're gonna select the quantity is one and then the length for this one is actually five meter strip kit in black so this is 16.95 is the price for five meter light right here if i just say five meter strip kit and that one is 15.95 the same price so i will select five meter strip kit so now i have like 15 16 pound is the price per five meter and they come with the remote and they come with the cable as well now here a lot of people think about okay now once i seen the product i can go on alibaba alibaba you will obviously have to place the quantity order in order to save some money as well but to try the item here and there you have found this item you can actually see the suppliers on a cheaper website like aliexpress you can see the supplier on wish there are a lot of chinese websites out there as well where you can place the order in a small quantity so what we're gonna do is like like I like to go on AliExpress first if my order quantity is small. So simply what you can do is just come on AliExpress right here. And normally what I like to do is once you open AliExpress, they always gonna have some kind of super deals. So the super deal is something where the price is going to be hugely cheap. But I'm gonna tell you something which a lot of people don't really tell you because once you will actually open the product right here, let's say this is the product which is similar to what we have seen as well what a lot of people won't do is like select the variation so for example select the five meter variation and then what you need to do at the same time is to see if they have any other variation as well so this one comes okay so no application for this one uh you can't use it with a mobile phone so just the remote is inside and then also usb cable and also the five meter light and that's very similar to what we have seen on ebay right here so we got led uh, light we got cable and we got remote at the same time so if i look and go into this particular product this is the product right here so this is selling for five pound and 42 pence right here now but a lot of people don't again tell you is like this is not the price that you're going to be paying at the end of day of course they're going to be shipping on this one of course they're going to be tax on this one as well so let's say i want to start with the 20 of these i want to try how these product will work or let's start even 10 of these as well because i am on a budget i want to see how this product will do at the end of day as well so once i will click on add to the basket i will click on buy now and you, you can see right here these one is going to have the tax on it as well so i'm going to increase the price if i increase the price right here i have added 10 of them inside the basket the tax for this one is going to be uh, 10 pound and 46 pence and shipping is also calculated. So the total which I'm gonna pay for 10 of them is going to be six pound and 20 for one of them. So for 10 of them is going to be 62 pound right here as well, which considering I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be paying for six pound for each of, each of them. And then the lights which they are selling is 16.95. So I am almost, tripling my money like i'm near that but what a lot of people won't do is like again there are other expenses that you have to keep in mind so what i do again there are free tools that you can use is come on a google right here do ebay and paypal fee 
calculator and I'm gonna open an eBay PayPal fee calculator here you can calculate the fee you can calculate the profit all that kind of stuff as well so the selling price for this particular item right here is 695 let's say I need to compete with this particular seller so of course I'm gonna put my price little bit down as compared to this seller so I'm gonna do 15 pound and 50 P just for example you know I'm I'm trying to compete with them I'm a new seller so it makes sense for me to sell the item little bit cheaper they are offering a free shipping to the customer as well so i'm gonna offer a free shipping as well let's say zero the shipping cost always you can go to google again again free tools we're gonna go to royal mail price finder and i'm gonna leave the link for each and everything which i'm using inside the description as well click on royal mail prices and then here you will be able to see the prices for the item so for example i send this one second class is going to cost me 285 but i'm not going to do 285 because we're going to have to spend a little bit money on a packing as well so for the packing you can always go to ebay.co.uk and what you can do you can order the packing from here so let's say i will type gray mailing bags right because i need to send these one to my customers so let's say i ordered these gray mailing bag 100 of them it's going to cost Cost me 5.99 so i'm paying around uh let's say 5p for each item 6p for each item so i'm gonna put 10p on the top of that so let's say 285 for the price i'm gonna do two uh let's do three pound right we're gonna try to calculate all the expenses and item cost again i said these are the cost you need to always keep in mind the cost that we have mentioned the tax and also the shipping as well a lot of people once they make these type of tutorial and compare the prices they don't take this into consideration so let's say uh six pound is the is the cost price so 620 i'm gonna put right here after all the expenses i'm gonna be making four pound after selling each item so let's say i am spending 62 pound right here buying 10 of these and i'm making 40 pound profit after all the expenses as well so considering that seller have sold 401 item and their average profit is around five pound they have made 2005 pound profit from this single particular product and you can find this for free and a lot of this process going through the product research it can be automated at this stage you will be making money so it makes sense rather than you do everything manually is to actually use some kind of product research tool which can find the supplier and all that kind of stuff automatically and do a lot of heavy lifting for you so for that one the tool which i use at this stage because i'm a full-time seller is called zeke analytics i'm gonna link the video for that one right here make sure you check that out